Okay, folks, Bob, Bob's Classic Cars and Parts. I'm still over here at Allen's Collection of Beautiful Automobiles. We've got another unrestored original car for you. This would be a 49 Ford. Was there a model name for these? Uh, I think it was a Custom. Ford Custom. Okay, 49 Ford Custom. This one's got the flathead V8. Seems like all of these 49 and 50 Fords I run across had these. Is that standard or is it a popular option? Very popular. Okay. And so that came from Ford like that, I guess. Yeah. It looks like it did, yeah. I see a lot of these Fords have that. That's cool. That is really cool. I like that. Well, let's walk around this car, folks. Again, an unrestored original 49 Ford. The body looks, I believe the paint would buff out on this one too. I really do. <laughs> on most of it anyway. Oh, here we go. I ain't going to break that. I better leave that alone before I break it. There's the air cleaner. In there. We found the air cleaner to this one's right here. Yeah, that's for this one. <laughs> we got a we got a Studebaker we did earlier and we, the air cleaner was not on it. We didn't realize that. There you go, folks. Man, these old 50s cars had these old metal dashes and a lot of trim. This one here is kind of devoid of trim. This is a family man's car, working class man's car here. Not a lot of fancy trim on the dash on this one. Only got one pod for the instrument cluster. <laughs> Little simple heater controls there. It does have a clock though. He can't be late for work. Got to put a clock in his car. All right, let's walk on around here a little bit. This is a timeless classic. They, like we, we were talking earlier, these were the, uh, pardon my French, but these were the Toyota Corollas or Toyota Camrys of their era. They sold a bunch of these. The Coke bottle is optional. Not all of them had that, just this one. So. <laughs> just kidding around, folks. Just kidding around. All right, we got the chrome here to protect the body when you're filling it up. Another beautiful unrestored car. Yeah, a lot of these cars hold, they hold uh, moonshine. I don't think too many of them hold Coca-Colas, but maybe it's something, maybe so. Can't never tell. Steering wheel is, look at that. Look at that steering wheel. Yeah, see, so she's unrestored. That wasn't a gunshot. It's not, no revenue man shooting at me. That was the heater behind me firing up. Check that out. I better. I bet a few revenue guys did shoot at these cars over the years, though. Well, not this one. Let's uh, let's pop the hood, fellas, and uh, show the folks this flathead V8. The young guys, oh, look at this. Look at this. Wow. That is beautiful. Look how he did that. Oh, he's going under the, under the dash again. I had, I've had so many old cars that he had to, had to pop the hood from outside. I didn't know. Mr. Knowles on the scene here. Notice the bullet nose. I wonder if they were copying Studebaker with that front end. All right, yeah, remember the air cleaner was, uh, got a brand new ground cable here. Okay, we got the prop rod in action there. There we go, all right. Is this the oil filter here? I would say so. Yeah. Okay, that carburetor looks like it's just been rebuilt. It is. There's your flathead V8. You got four cylinders on this side. It is a V8 engine, it's a V pattern, as opposed to the other one we had a while ago that was an inline six cylinder flathead. And the other four cylinders are on this side. So, all you young kids, you'll know, know that's what a flathead V8 looks like. These were quite powerful in their day. A lot of hot rodders like them, a lot of the moonshiners like them. They did pretty good. This, that, I'm assuming this thing runs. It looks like it, it's, the engine looks really good. Yeah, it ain't got a battery in it. But... No bad. look at the spark plug wires. The copper on the end of the spark plug wires. You have to be careful working on this, you get shocked. You get six volts of pure evil running right up your fingertips. It's a very simple wiring. Nowadays, you need an engineer if you got a wiring problem on your car. Not back then, it's pretty simple to fix. 
Okay, folks, got a split windshield. 49 had the split windshield. Just notice that. Look at the curvature of it. Look at that. See there? Let's look at the back. Yeah, they curved the back, no split, but the front, they, they were worried about that pasture. They want to make sure that the front windshield wouldn't pop out in an accident, I guess. They kept that split in there. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank Alan for letting me do this video, his collection of cars. Subscribe to my channel, please, and hit that like button. Hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified of any new videos I come out with. And comment. Please comment and thank Alan for allowing us to do these videos. And talk to us. You young guys, talk to us about these flatheads. Tell us your stories about these old flathead Fords. There's a lot of stories out there on these old cars. Okay, folks, take care. Hope you enjoyed the video.